Today we have just done an unboxing. Whew. So triangular stretch canvas. Hi shining ones. Today we're doing a test of Master Touch. Master Touch acrylics. Bristle brushes and triangular canvases. I love their deep stretch canvases, but I've never used these triangle little ones before or these brushes. So I've got a 20 inch round, it's for acrylics, and it's also for oils. And then in the same series, I have the number 12. So we're gonna test these out and see how they roll. So here are the paints we're gonna be using, Master Touch acrylic. And I'm doing two birthday gifts and a third canvas that I'll auction off. Now, I'm doing Leo glyphs on here because they are Leos. Yay! And it's going to be in gold. So what I did was get the canvas set up so you could see it. And I just spent on this whole beautiful paints that I bought taking these little deals off. You have to do that when you get them. So here's the gold. The glyphs will be in gold, and we're going to have fun with all these beautiful colors. Oh, my goddess. Whew. And I got silver, okay, gold. Probably won't use that. Probably won't use them all. But I bought a whole slew of them, got them 50% off sale, and the canvases too. How does that rock? <laughs> and we're going to try these out. I don't know if they're any good. I'm used to using golden acrylics, which are amazing but these looked like fun and I want to have some fun so let's try them this is the ultramarine blue and I also got cobalt blue and I got gray purple because it's just a nice color and I didn't know how potent they are and how well they mix ocean green Ooh. <laughs> and here we have light olive green that reminds me of a leaf green it's just gorgeous whoo so hey babies tada -da -da this is nova cynthia art 13d starseed art Whoosh. yellow medium oh and i love this color lemon yellow ah yes hey we also have rouge mm, it's luscious now, let's get to, ooh, here's my, oh my God, I love this. Light magenta, ah, perfect for today. We've got Venus dancing with Mars. And here's a good Mars color, ooh yeah, vermilion, kind of like a poppy red, I love that. We also have scarlet, yes! It's kind of Marsian too. Make a nice lipstick, nail polish. I have not had time to paint my fingernails in two years. <laughs> and I have some great colors. This is violet, love that. It's almost like a Mars style. Ooh. So we'll see how they look. Let's just see how it looks out of the tube. Mm, nice. Okay, and then a couple of my favorites here. Payne's Gray. Mm. Yeah, when you want like a smoky kind of a charcoal black, mm. which I love lamp black too. But here's what we got. And then this is a permanent black, always a nice deep rich black. Oof. Okay. And always need a white, you know, like if you want to lighten a color. Titanium white, it's a good permanent white. Love titanium white. And it mixes pretty well for me. I've used it. And ivory white. I love ivory white too. But this is what I, we got. <sighs> you know what? I gotta go. I just gotta, I gotta go. I gotta put some paint on here. And I think what I'm gonna start out with is just... <sighs> I gotta, I gotta do it. I gotta just put some red on there. So we're gonna go. Oh gosh, I love that. I love that. Oh man. Let's put a little bit of this poppy 
fish right on here. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. mm. So that, you can see it's a... Ah! Sorry. Doomba, doomba. I'm using a gooseneck. Ever used a gooseneck? <laughs> My Joby went dead on me. Okay. Whew. I gotta put some of this in here. Do I? Yes, yes. Don't second guess it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, what we're gonna do after that, I gotta have some handsy, yellow. Oh, handsy. I love that. <laughs> bouche, bouche, bouche. Bouche. Okay, that's uh, just making my heart sing. Making my heart sing. Tusha, tusha, tusha. I'm gonna have to have a little touch clean. Little touch clean. Oh, yeah. Tusha, tusha. Touch clean up here. Just a little dot of this green. <clears throat> love that. Love that. <sniffs> Babies. Okay, so I'm going crazy here. We're going to put a little bit of this on here. Mm -hmm. And this is the uh, gray purple. I just had to, just had to put that on there. Mm. Chachamuka. 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 I think we need just a dab of cobalt blue. Just a dab. Oh, yeah. Oh, babies. Loving it. Oh, it's been way too long since Mama slapped down a canvas. Mm. It was not that last clip. I think I want just a dot. A little dot of ultramarine. Ready to roll, ready to roll. And what I'm going to do is start out, I've got all these Italian paint painting knives, which I really love. And I think because what I want to do here, we're going to test those brushes, but I'm also going to show you some amazing tools. These are fun Italian steel painting brushes. I mean, knives. <laughs> you know, I've had these. Four years and they are luscious. Shoot down. So we want to start out and just let it jump out. See what we get here. Mmm, I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. Mmm, mm, so sweet. Grab a brush. Grab a brush. I got my water here setting to the side. Got a big old palette over there too that I may, may use or I may not. You know, I'm really liking the knife. I'm liking the knife. Very much liking my knife. Should I don't want to come in the knife. Boucha. Boucha, boucha, boucha. Wow, man, get all these crazy, crazy lights in here. So, well, it took me <laughs> two hours to get this stuff set up, you know. Okay, let's use the big brush. Let's use the big brush. Let's just play. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's got a really good bounce. Yeah, that's what I thought. Those colors, um, yeah, they're not highly pigmented. Mm, I'm used to the real high pigment. So if you get these, you can just know that what's going to happen is that once you add a little bit of water there, it's really going to thin out on you. It's definitely going to thin out. Mm -hmm. So let's try that. Uh, that little brush we're going to use for the glyphs. Yep. So, oh, but I love this brush. So I definitely recommend this brush. It is amazing. Number 20 Master's Touch Round. Uh, it doesn't have a number, uh, series number on it. 
It's brown handle and your bristle. Your bristle with some thin synthetic. Okay, so I'm gonna set that aside. Got a handy little porcelain brush holder so it can sit right there with the paint still on it. Don't have to rinse that out. We're gonna took this one right by it. Damn. <sighs> Love this knife. Love this knife. Mm -hmm. And for sake of ease and cleanup, handy little Kleenexes. Very good quality pucks. Yep, go for that. Now, whew, I gotta, just gotta do it. Got to do it. Let's get this really out in a minute. Oh, look how it blended with that. Oh my God. <laughs> you see how it blended with that. Gorgeous ocean green. Oh, loving it. Loving it. Oh, that's amazing. Mm hmm. Now I'm kind of wanting to play some with my little round one. See how you can get these strokes? Yep, they're amazing. Kind of want to leave a bunch of texture on it, you know? So I'll probably be adding some more paint here. Yeah. Oh gosh, yes. Oh. Just love it. This is Tai Chi painting, baby. Oh my, I just, okay. I love that color. That is our light magenta. Mm, I knew that would be fabulous. And it is. Mm, I am loving that. Oh, I'm loving that. Mm. Oh, yes. Let's get some of that up into that. Effect there. Let's go for that. Mm. Oh, I love my painting knives. <laughs> like the big oils you guys see in a lot of my art activations. Yep. I like an Independence Day every day. 13D Starseed Art Activation. We're done with these knives. And uh, I do combine brushes with the knives. So, oh my gosh. <laughs> Feeling it, baby. I am feeling it. Cool shot. Oh, 